Hey, this is Phil Leinberger with CareStream Dental, and I wanted to go through an endodontic case here. If you're an endodontist, this is probably a pretty run-of-the-mill case you'll see on a regular basis. If you're fairly new to CBCT, I wanted to make sure you can understand how to use the oblique slicing tab in the CS3D imaging software and how to manipulate the angles to visualize what you want. This is just one way to manipulate the software. There are other ways, but this is a fairly common way. We're also going to assume we've evaluated the entire scan, and now we're going to focus on the area of interest. So what I'm going to first do is maximize our axial slice. I'm going to grab my yellow movement handle, and I'm just going to begin coronally and slicing apically. And we can identify the treated canals. We can identify an untreated canal. We're going to keep slicing apically. We can begin to see a low density lesion. Continue to slice apically into the sinus. We can see a calcification in the sinus. We're not going to be focusing on that today. And I'm going to come back coronally for one more look. Okay, so now let's look at our missed MB2 a little bit more closely. So first of all, we can see our MB, our treated canal, and we can see how this is off center. We can see our figure eight shaped root, and we can see our uh, missed MB2. And of course, I can line up my crosshairs onto that area of interest, or an easier way to do it is I can point to wherever I want and press down on my mouse wheel, my scroll wheel, and you're going to see that it's going to center all my views on that area of interest. And now we're going to change the angle. We're going to grab our coronal slice and we're going to change the angle to the long axis of this tooth and even the long axis of the MB and MB2 roots. What we can also do is let's maximize this view even a little bit further. Uh, we can actually see the orientation of where we are on this route. Let's go ahead and scroll chronally. And where I first begin to see my MB2, I can actually take a measurement from this known area to where my MB2 actually is. So here's the thing. I understand that in this specific case, the MB2 orifice might be easier to find and to visualize clinically, but for calcified cases, keep in mind to use your CBCT for not just diagnosis, but to also aid in your treatment planning. So now let's look at the entire tooth for a second. So let's grab our oblique uh, sagittal view, and you can see in the lower right, here's our palatal root. Now we're on top of our MB2. Here's our distal buccal root. And here's our mesial buccal root. Okay, let's go back to our MB2. And let's go ahead and change some of the angulation here to the long axis there. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And now I can actually slice back and forth and have a real nice visual of our missed MB2 canal. I can see the associated low density lesion, which is the epicenter of that missed canal. I can see the portal of exit for that missed MB2 canal. Just a real nice visualization of a simple MB2 case. So I hope this helps.